Hey guys, what's going on? I did stuff here, and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to get all of the iOS 4 features on an iPod Touch 2G and an iPhone 3G. So, some of you may or may not know that when you upgrade to iOS 4 on either of these two devices, not all the features such as multitasking and backgrounds on your home screen work. So, if you're jailbroken, which it is now legal to jailbreak, go check out my jailbreak video if you're considering jailbreaking or want to jailbreak. And if you are jailbroken, you can open up Cydia and search for feature in Cydia and the two the sources the source that uh, these two packages come from is the ModMyI source, which you sh already should have as a default source. So you will not need to click manage and add a source and whatnot. So you can just search directly in Cydia and it should be right there. And what you want to do to get these tweaks to get multitasking on these two devices and stuff like that. You just click on your device, either the iPod Touch 2G or the iPhone 3G. So mine is the 2G. And in the upper right hand corner, yours should stay install. Mine says modify because I already have the package installed. But you'll click install and then you'll click confirm in the upper right hand corner. And it'll finish installing. It might ask you to reboot or respring or restart your springboard. You can do that. And when that's all done, you can exit to your springboard. And so basically what happens here is I'll give you an example of what would happen without uh, this package installed. So if I double click on the home screen, which I know you can't see but I have done just now, uh, normally on an iPhone 4 it would uh, the dock would move up and you'll get a multitasking bar and uh, also you would have a background here which clearly I do not have and also when I go into settings I'll show you and I try and set one of my pictures as a wallpaper so I'll select wallpaper and let's choose one of these wallpapers and so let's say I want to use this autumn leaf and I click set normally on a uh, fully enabled device it would ask you to set it as home screen lock screen or both and here it will only automatically set as lock screen so therefore you don't have all those features that are normally uh, accessible on other devices. So, another thing that you might need here, which I forgot to mention, to get from Cydia if you don't already have it, uh, this is something that you should have, uh, almost all users should have it, it's Winterboard, basically it's your themer slash skinner of the iPod Touch, uh, which will help you to enable different things, such as this tweak that I'm showing you right now. So you can go ahead and install that in uh, Cydia, just search for Winterboard and it should show up and basically open this up, click select themes and now you should have a whole bunch of new stuff that says iPod wallpaper, iPod wallpaper tasking, iPod multitasking, wallpaper multitasking, unified iPod, all sorts of different stuff and basically this is just giving you the different options to choose between different uh, combinations so you can have, um, if you may or may not know, on an iPod Touch 2G uh, there's two separate applications, a music application any videos application and on an iPhone 3G, 3GS and an iPhone 4 the uh, music and video application are combined into one application called iPod so if you want that you can select unified iPod if you only want that and if you say you want iPod and, and background wallpapers on your home screen you can select that one or if you want just the iPod and the multitasking select that one or if you want the iPod wallpaper and the multitasking which they shortened it to tasking select that one. So that's what I want and I'm gonna go with that and just exit out and it should restart your springboard and my VNC closes out when I respring so I'll get back to you guys when it's all done. Alright guys I'm back and as you can see already I already have a wallpaper automatically set for me because uh, I had toggled that setting off before and so when I toggled it back on it automatically put back the wallpaper that I had on so if you want to try this out you can just go ahead open up settings or you can better yet just open up your photos and select a photo from your camera roll or uh, saved photos. So say I want to use this picture over here of a little girl in a dinosaur costume that says Roar. So now I can just select that little window icon with the arrow in the bottom left hand corner, select use as wallpaper, and I'm going to click set and now you'll see that all these different options come up like it didn't come up before and now I can choose to set this as home screen so let's say I want to use that as my home screen wallpaper and it'll set and I'll exit out and there you go it's all good so now it's my home screen wallpaper another thing is multitasking 
So let's say I'm going to double click because I want to change my application. And there you go, this is what I was talking about, guys. And so this will fully enable multitasking, so you can go ahead reopen one of these. Just note that um, some applications don't have the API installed for multitasking, so they might quit out entirely, and then so the multitasking is pointless for some applications. And also, if you scroll to the left over here, you just have this short little play and pause and portrait lock uh, option. And so you can click on the home screen again to get rid of that. And the other thing that I had selected was the iPod, unified iPod. So I'm going to scroll over to the left or right one, excuse me. And there you go, I have unified iPod. So let's say I open this up. And basically, this has uh, the music and the uh, videos combined, as you can see down there at the bottom. So this has been iTouch Stuff here. Hope you enjoyed this tweak. Subscribe for more videos, guys. And please leave a thumbs up uh, for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.